Cali. Welcome to Dinah Jane. Yeah. First things first, we gotta address the rumor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if even the people in this room, your intimate fans, know, but is it yeah. true? Uh -oh. You once dated a man from Fresno, California. We know. We're going way back. Maybe? <laughs> oh, oh. I take that. I take maybe as a yes. I take that's an uncomfortable yes. I used to be a bulldog girl. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fresno State Bulldog. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there, the, potentially, the maybe might have been someone who went to Fresno State. Is that what you're telling me? Maybe. I'm just going to say maybe for everything. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, well, let's get to something right up your alley. Because um, when you're in a group mm -hmm. like Fifth Harmony, you know, there's a lot of members. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it happened with your group, but it can happen where there can be creative conflicts. Right. So, hey, I, I want this style of music. Someone else wants a different style of music. But now that you're out on your own, mm -hmm. creating your own sound, um, what do you think is going to be the difference between what you had as a group and what you're doing as a solo artist? I feel like there'd be, there'd be a major difference for every one of us just because when we came into Fifth Harmony, we all like had a choice of, we all had an opinion of what we wanted. So it was literally like a mix, like a spirit, a spirit like a bowl of cereal, and you throw like honey bunches in there, Cheerios, you want trail mix, and all that stuff. Trail mix, is that even a thing? Trail mix. Lucky charm. Lucky charm. And we just try to make it work. Yeah. So with having so many people having creative opinion into, you know, of the music, the fifth harmony, it kind of became what it is. So I'm grateful for the platform that we had with each other. Yeah. But um, now that I'm stepping out on my own, it, I feel like there's more depth into my music and there's more yet, yet, yet to discover who I am as an individual. Because yeah. I don't feel like people actually have the opportunity to get a piece of me from the harmony. Ooh. So now that I'm here, I'm just like, just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Well, um, the first single, which we've already added here at Q97.1, already, so already right. here. I think even before your official ad date, we, we made the ad here in Fresno uh -huh. um, because your fans love you. So, Bottled Up is the first single. Why is that the first single? What is it about that song? There's just something about it that just sat so well with me for like a year. And I don't know, I just didn't want to steer too far away from like the Fifth Harmony fan base because I wanted people to be still be familiar with where I came from. Like, that's home. Sure. So, me stepping on my own, I threw in a little, like, Work from home references in there. Or what they, hey, y'all know? <laughs> See, they know. And I just wanted people to, you know, just still get familiar with who I was. And then eventually from there, it'll just start getting deeper. All right, so there's a lot more to come. Yeah, a lot more to come. A lot of different sounds. All right, we've got to get on a personal tip because cool. I'm going to get very personal with you right now. Cool. I have two daughters at home. Oh, I have two daughters. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I will say this mm -hmm. one of them now has the Dinah Jane doll. Yes. What? You are you the aware? Barbie doll? Yes. That was the like six bag. years ago. Yeah. Yes. I no. I have that. We have. We still have the Dinah oh. Jane doll at my house. Don't make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It is for real. But That's let me so ask you this question: What was your favorite toy as a child growing up? Barbies. Oh, you played with Barbies. <laughs> I loved Barbies, but not really. Like I had a cousin. Oh, okay. I love Barbies when I did really because uh, I didn't own any. I just went to my cousin's house to go play with them. Oh really? Yeah. But so I would just try to like sneak over to her dollhouses, over to my house, in my trunk. I'm sure she didn't miss her dollhouse. I'm sure she had plenty. So oh, that's yeah. why I kind of like took some here and there. But um, it was usually Barbies or honestly, it was just like you know those things like Play-Doh. Okay, I just love yeah. making things and just making bracelets and all that good stuff. So cool. Now, how about pets? Did you have any pets growing up? <laughs> I had a dog named Skip. A dog named Skip? What kind I of dog? I didn't name him. That? I didn't name my grandpa name. Oh, okay. I don't know. He was just a dog that came off the street, and my grandpa was just like, oh, him put it. And he just walked in the house. He walked into the house and became part of the family. All right, cool. Because I've got I've got a dog and I got two cats. Would you ever own a cat? No. Why not? I feel like I will eventually, but I have a dog right now named Raider. Hey, Raider. Raider. Oh my gosh, we got some Raider fans. I have, a, I have a dog named Raider, and he has a little sister named Laker. And the only way I could keep these dogs is if my parents said, you know, 
he had to name that after our favorite teams, and then that happened. Now, did you take <laughs> after your parents or your favorite teams, the Raiders and the Lakers, or who your what's your favorite sport? First of all, football. Your and so who's your who's your team? Raider. Yeah. You're a Raider. Yeah. I have to follow what my dad likes. Do you? I just the love, wise move. I love my dad. Yeah. So no, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because my daughters better follow <laughs> what my dad likes. But I'm not a Raider fan. Good luck. I'm, I'm, a, yeah, well, I'm working on it, though. I'm working on what's it. Your, what's your team? I'm a 49er fan. 49er. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. I thought we were hitting it off I there for a I think we're done. I think we're done. Just kidding. No, no. No, but uh, so who do you think? Any prediction on who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? I don't know. Steelers. Get Steelers? I don't know what's the Steelers are pretty good. I used to be a Steelers fan too. How about the Raiders just come from behind? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just come back. Yeah, I feel like the Raiders will, maybe. Or the Rams. I feel like the Rams. I have I, I put my money on the Rams, honestly. You put the money, yeah, the Rams are looking really good. They're looking really good. Really good. The Lakers are looking good with LeBron too though. Are you still a Lakers fan? I saw him in the jersey and I was just like, oh my gosh, he looks good. He looks good in yellow, purple and yellow. Do you, own, do you actually own any sports jerseys? I do. What do you got? Whose jersey do you have? I'm curious. <laughs> uh, for, do you have a Fresno State Bulldog jersey? No. Girl. Are you sure? I'm long gone. Oh, no. Um, I used to have a Steelers jersey of Troy Palomalu. Yeah. 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 Troy Palomalu. And I have a Bryant one, a Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Recap, um, I, someone gifted me a JJ Watt. Um, Jersey. JJ Watt, yeah. cool. Yeah. And honestly, I just, I just want a different one. I want one from the Raiders. You want to get a Raider yeah. one too? Oh. All right. Well, you know, uh, the quarterback Derek Carr is from Fresno State. Oh. So you should get a Derek Carr jersey if you're going to get a Raider mm -hmm. jersey. Now you're from the island of Tonga, correct? You're, yeah. Yes. You Tell us about homework, that. Man. Yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> I got big ears. <laughs> yes. Um, I was born and raised in. And Santa by the way, my partner on morning show used to say I had big feet. And then, and yeah, I know. You don't want to know. No, but you're you really tall, so it's fine. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, tell us that. Tell us that. How did we get here? <laughs> Listen every morning, Greg and Dre. Plenty more where this came from. Okay. But tell us about Tonga. Okay, I was born and raised in Santa Ana, California. My dad was born and raised in Tonga. My mom was already here in America. Um, the first time I went to Tonga was 2016. Mm. And I was already in New Zealand, and I was like, oh, I might as well just make a pit stop to Tonga. Um, it was really a humbling experience. It's like a little dot on the map. You know, no one really knows where it is, but it's right next to Samoa, and they're like neighbors. Um, in Tonga, they still run a monarchy, so there's still a king and queen. Really? And princesses. Yeah. So anytime someone from, you know, it's kind of disrespectful if you say, oh, I'm a princess from Tonga, like if another girl that's not even up air. So it's kind of disrespectful. Right. Um, but I really loved being there. Just, you know, you hear only stories from your grandparents and your parents, and you're just like, wow, I want to experience this because I don't want to hear the stories. I want to live in the moment. I want to know how they struggled and how they overcame all that and how now they're living the American dream. Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's incredible. Yeah. That's well, cool. where are you going to be headed? Because I know you've been on the, the road for weeks. It's a grind to get out there and go see all the fans and do all the interviews. I know you're working hard right now because you've yeah. been at it for a number of weeks. But in the near future, the single's launched. I'm sure the album's going to be coming. What What's in the near future plans coming up for you in the next couple of months? Um, I'm working on my album. So yeah. I kind of <laughs> he said, snap, snap. Uh, I'm working on my album right now, so I really want to focus on that before I put my hands on another project. And, um, you know, this is my first record, so I'm slowly kind of picking which songs would fit for the album because sure. I can't really compare the music I had the beginning of this year until now. So that's why I'm like, I'm not done. And I have to go back and like write, rewrite some things or even just start from scratch all over again because there's so many concepts or things that I've experienced as of lately and I need to get off my chest before I complete the album. So as of right now, it's the, the book is yet unwritten. Yeah. We, we're still going to see where this, this is thing... Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, let's uh, set it up. we got a lot of fans here and it will, you know, some of them might have a question for you and I don't want to neglect your fans and something that they I might want to know. I love your hair, by the way. Thanks, I love you It's so sick. So, uh, Danny Sauce from the Afternoon Drive Show oh, here. So, Danny. Uh, what up? Got the mic yeah, in the boy. crowd here. Yes. Is there somebody who would like to ask? Questions, questions. questions. Sorry. Yeah. All right, we'll start right here. You like her hair. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her your name. I am Kiana Sandoval. Hi, Kiana. Hi. Um, okay, so I have a question. I know you're going to be, um, your new album's going to be coming out pretty soon, I guess. Right? We're hoping, everybody, right? Yes. Um, so, on your tour, uh -huh. um, will you be performing the Harmony songs? That's a good question. Um, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your 
<laughs> Maybe. We'll see what happens. And follow me on Instagram. Follow you on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Love always Kiana. Love, Love always Kiana. Kiana. Hey, hey plug, plug for that. It's a difficult thing because one. You still have love for all the girls in the group. You still have love for your history as a mu musician, but you're also trying to have your own identity now. So I can see why that would be a tough decision. Yeah. It could be, but then at the same time, like if you're coming for a Dinah Jane show, I want you to experience just right. a Dinah Jane show, if that makes yeah. sense. Um, but with that being said, that's why we bottled up. That was like my only kind of, my song catered to them. I was like, here's thing from Fifth Harmony, like this is what I'm coming out with. So maybe that's like the only piece of Fifth Harmony you get from me. That's maybe. kind of the bridge we We'll record. see, we'll see. That's a good question. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Other questions? Let's go right here in the front row. What's your name? Brianda Bombella. Hey, girl. Hey. I have a question. Um, since you did Lonely Night, I have a question if you are going to try to influence hyphy music from the Bay Area on hey. your album. Hey. We know you like hyphy music. Hey. Oh, I do shit. love hyphy music. Questions, y'all coming from my research. <laughs> We're in, uh, we got students here in Fresno. We I mean, uh, maybe I should just play it for you real quick. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You probably expect that for sure. Mm -hmm. I have a question. All right, another question over here. Another question right here. What's your name? Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. My question to you is, well, because you're so big, how do you balance time for yourself and to be able to see Sammy apart from? setting it from being around the world all the time. Yeah, um, so they give me a schedule and they're like, oh, so this is what we have, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of reward myself towards the end. So I'm just like, okay, I'll work all these days and then at the end I'll be like, this is a well-deserved vacation. Like work me out until I, I say oh, it's well-deserved. So um, I make time for my family or there's just some times where I just kind of want to be by myself and I kind of just go home and lock myself in the room. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just go out by myself. I love going for long walks by myself. I'm such a loner. Um, I love hikes. I love, yeah, you clear your head. And in a way, um, working out, like running, kind of helps a lot too. So, yeah. Cool. Other questions? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the back. I saw a question in the back right here. What's your name? Fernando. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you earlier. <laughs> okay, yeah. I saw him earlier in Bakersfield. <laughs> um, okay, my question is a celebrity crush for both genders. Ooh, Ooh good one. Female celebrity crush would be Rihanna, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Rihanna or Shanti? Shanti? Yeah. Right, right, huh? She was in Bakersfield. She was in Bakersfield? Yeah, oh. last week. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. <laughs> um, and male, it would. <laughs> Come on, girl. I don't know. I guess we can rule out Fresno State Bulldogs. Is that <laughs> oh How about just someone, someone in this room then? Male in this room. Just kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> Um, okay, Mel, I would say as far I'll go with a superhero. Mm, no. How about that? Yeah. Henry Cavill. Yes. Um, Jack. Sid no. Thor. Sid? Sid Thor. Who? no, 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 no. The Wolverine. Okay. Oh, Hugh Jackman. Jack 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 yeah, the first one. Anybody else have a crush yes, on Hugh Jackman? Yeah. 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 I was like, I was like oh, nine years old and I had a crush on him. I'm like, oh, who's that? Right. I'm a grown man. All right, we'll go right here, man. What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. Uh, so, um, by the way, I love you so much. I love you're amazing. You're a queen. Yeah. Um, you're amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm super excited for your solo projects, and I'm just waiting for this album, girl. I'm like, I'm watching you. You want? Okay. Um, where is the, where's Fifth Harmony's future live right now? Ooh. Yeah, like, where do you play it? Are you guys hiatus? Are you guys coming back? Oh, yeah, we're on a hiatus right now. Okay, That's okay. what we announced on the um, on the post. Okay, okay. So we said we're on a hiatus right now, just to give ourselves, you know, um, credit to ourselves, because we never really had the chance to step out on our own and actually record stuff that we love uh, independently. So um, as of right now, we're in a good place where we just do our own thing, awesome. and then maybe come back. Yeah, let me set it. <laughs> All right, let's go over here on this side of the room again. What's up, Tim? Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. There's so many questions in this room. All right. Are we ready? That's why. They're ready. Okay. <laughs> so, so I heard in one of the other like radio interviews you have like 60 songs or something like that. So is there any more collabs? And if there are, can you drop any names? Yeah. With other, I don't know. Yes. Can you? No, 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 the people I listen to. Oh. I'll just give you that. Yeah. I so already, already know. Already Y'all know? Yeah. Okay. I know. See, you already know. So just go. <laughs> All right. We got a question right here. 
Hi, I'm Nicole. My name is Nicole. I'm just curious how you feel about being on Fallon. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes, Fallon is in a couple of days. I'm so nervous. Um, it would be my second time on Fallon, but my first time by myself. So it is kind of nerve-wracking and like exciting at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that me and my boys will be together. So on that stage, it'll be exciting. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. Speaking of... You performed America the Beautiful at WrestleMania, at and Stadium. How freaking ridiculously cool was that? It was 101 plus people. Uh -huh. 100,000 people that were up there, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> it was a lot, and I kind of felt like, how do these wrestlers do it? <laughs> right, but right after, I kind of wanted to take off our dress and just go run out and run out again. Because I know we always wanted to be a wrestler, nice. like John Cena. Hey, John Cena fan, all right. I dig it, that's cool. Let's go in the back right here. What's your name, man? Uh, my name's Nico. Hi, Nico. Hi. Okay, so uh, first of all, you're beautiful. Aw, thanks. <laughs> and my question is, do you have a release date for the bottled up music video? Oh. Uh, spill the tea. <laughs> so I dropped a lyric video. Yes. I hope Fire. you're liking that. <laughs> my official music video should be coming out soon. Um, I have to record it still, so. <laughs> Right. If you need any extras, we got some extras for the video. I will warm away in the back. We got a okay. Yeah. Hey, girl, it's me again. Come on. Wait, wait, again. Yeah. Baker's spill. I told her we should carpool so we could do karaoke on the way. Look at this from the from the six six one to the five five nine. All right. Oh, by the way, if you ever if you ever have time, I invite you to my mom's little like. Restaurant thing that we have. Oh, nice. I would have loved to have you there. A restaurant up here? Um, well, what is it? It's Where in is Riverdale. It? It's in Riverdale. 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 Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, it's like more like like snacks and stuff. Okay. But it's bomb. Thanks. Riverdale's <laughs> a real right. small town outside of Fresno, but super okay. cool. Good people. Super there. tiny. Yeah. Like the show Riverdale? Yeah, yeah, that's what I show. Nothing like it. But not intense like that. It is. So I was just wondering. I like so much. Okay. So I was just wondering. Um, what is like an excuse you used to like? Like, let's say you didn't want to go to work and stuff like that. Like, what's an excuse you would put? <laughs> 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 you just gotta call sick for work? Is that what you wanna know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's that time of the month. Oh, it's that time of the month. Yeah, that would be my thing. Point. Yeah, women can get away with that. No, yeah, that's my, I can double down on that. Like, uh, yeah. lady says that to me, I'm not asking any questions. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that? Yeah, yeah no problem. I don't want to deal with that. Stay home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or it's just like, oh, I feel really sick. I have the chills. Um, I, can't, I can't see my phone. <laughs> I wouldn't see my phone. I would, I usually, I actually did that for a concert. I can't see my phone? Yeah. So, oh, no, 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 I was supposed to go somewhere and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel really ill right now. I have the chills. I can't, the chills? I can't get out of bed. Oh, wow. And I'm over here like trying to hide like my post. <laughs> All right, we got a couple here in the back. Go for it. Okay. What's your name? Hi, my name is Marisol. Um, oh, Marisol, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we found her um, outside. We dragged her in. <laughs> I was going to ask um, for your choreography. Yeah. Um, is Sean going to help you for that? Oh. Sean, thank you. Sean, thank you. Huh, maybe like the near future? That would be really cool. Be um, I just like exploring with other, you know, other choreographers as well just because they're just as talented. Yeah. Um, I love Sean so much, so I love everything he's done for us. I mean, he's given us like the work from home, yeah. you know, yeah. so like, yeah. everybody knows that. Yes. And um, yeah. there's some other choreographers that I really admire right now as far as like Paris Goble and Isabella from, Isabel from The Bay. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks. Cool, I saw one more. One more question, here we go, what's your name? Hi, my name is Dory. Hi, so I have two questions and they're kind of off topic from, I want to know what's your go-to foundation and what are your go-to makeup products that you have to always have? Makeup products. Okay, this is where I become a boy. Like, I don't really know what I put on my face most of the time. I'm just like, whatever looks good, looks good. I'm just wearing a fist that day. Um, it's something with matte foundation. Makeup forever. Yeah. That's the brand. Makeup Forever, and what was the other question? You said makeup. What are like your go-to products that you always have to have with you to do your face on your own? Okay, uh, a thread. I need a thread just because my eyebrows be acting janky sometimes. <laughs> so, but I feel like you can always get away with no makeup and just good brows. Yeah. Um, and a really good mascara. I love 
Um, this one from two. Two phase. Better than sex. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> I have both, so okay. I like the pink one and the blue one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm not much of a boy. Yeah. Right. Let me double down on that though, real quick, because um, uh -huh. like a question for you, like a product you think you should endorse. Because like me, I drink like Mountain Dew every day. People okay. like make fun of me because I drink my Mountain Dew. I'm like, they, man, I should just Mountain be endorsing. It is bomb. That's why yeah. I drink it. Okay. It's bomb. Okay. That's why I drink it. But I, I should be an endorser for them because like okay. I have my Mountain Dew all the time. Like right. that's my one vice. So okay. I may as well just double down on it. But what's something you think like is so much in your lane you should be endorsing? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> I sponsor the hell out of Hot Cheetos, and I don't know why they haven't reached out to me. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Do you not see? I have a car full of Hot Cheetos. Right now. Right now, and then I had to like slowly give some away to some people. Like, hey, I have some extra snacks in the car. Don't ask where I got it from. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just the fans. They always bring me some, and they know um, you like it, so they keep bringing it. And it's also yeah. Snickers. I love oh. Jason Snickers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. chocolate. I'm a chocolate. Or huh? With almonds or without? With. That's the yeah. only way. Get those nuts in there, girl. Oh. What? Yeah. What? What did I say? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nuts in your chocolate. He said it. Put the nuts in the chocolate and put it in your mouth. It's all good. Wait, what did I just say? Uh, nope. No. Good thing this I isn't on Facebook chocolate. Live right now. Chocolate. Oh, oh, wait. So usually I do that kind of stuff. I do. <laughs> oh, I've learned to tone it down. I know not what I say. I'm sorry. Have we got another question? Question? No, wait. I have a request. What's the request? Yeah. So it's very request. simple. Sounds, oh. Okay, when you go on tour, uh -huh. can you please come to Fresno? Yes. Because this yes. is yes. 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 okay. yes. California for you. And Say one more time. Okay, when you when you go on tour, can you please come to Fresno? Because our gang right here, we travel up and down for you. Oh, Baby you okay. you promised me and my brother you would make a stop at concert here when you were. I oh, did. Yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. 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 Get called out on a promise. Wow. I thought I'd never see you again. So y'all recording this. <laughs> I guess I'm coming to Fresno. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cause you, I have you asked us where we were from, yeah. and my brother like, oh, we're from Fresno. And you're like, you're from Fresno, and you're like, starting to interrogate us. Yes, in yeah, Bakersfield. Yeah, I remember. See, you have good memory. Good, good, good. That's what's up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Uh, one last question. I go. One last question. Here you go. Make it good. No pressure. Make it good. Can we all get free tickets for that show? <laughs> We're going to take a few photos here so you guys get a memory to walk away from. So.